Hi everyone, welcome to Live Aligned. My name is Liv. Today we have a beautiful flow and release class using our props, the Bala Balance Blocks. Now similar to a yoga block, although they have this gorgeous soft curve so that they really hold and support you in your poses and your practice. If you don't have the Bala Balance Blocks, just grab two yoga blocks and you could even just do this class without any props, but I'm using my Bala Balance Blocks today. So let's get started with the blocks. At the top of your mat, shoulder width apart. Put placing your hands onto your blocks, bringing your knees underneath your hips, coming into your cat and cow stretch. Lovely big inhale as you arch through your back, looking up towards the sky. And then exhale, chin to chest, lifting through your core and rounding through your shoulders. Again, big inhale as you arch. And that's it. Exhale to tuck the tailbone, tuck your chin and round. One more here. Inhale. Big arch opening through the body. Exhale and round. Lovely. From here, a little bit of movement. Arching through the back, pressing back towards the heels, rounding through the spine to draw forward. That's it. So a bit more dynamic with our cat and cow. That's it. Let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Come back onto your knees. You're tucking your toes, lifting up into downward facing dog, hips to the sky, pedal out your legs, bending your right knee, straightening your left. And then straighten your right knee, bend your left. And just alternating side to side, drawing your shoulders down, hands are still on the blocks, belly is lifting. Pressing both heels down, soft bend through the knees, big inhale breath. And exhale release. Gazing forward towards the blocks and stepping your feet, hip distance apart. Take a big breath in, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up towards the sky as you stand up tall. And exhale, ride the breath down into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step back into downward facing dog with the hands on the blocks. Three breaths here. Big inhale and release. Big breath in. Letting go. Beautiful. Last breath here. Lovely. Now step in your right foot between your blocks. We're swiveling the back heel down, coming into warrior one, lifting the shoulders over the hips, arms reach to the sky, bending into your front knee. Taking a few breaths here. Drawing the core in. Beautiful. Swing open to your warrior two. Arms open. Back foot lines up with the back of your mat, taking a little deeper bend into your front knee, gazing over your front hand. That's it. Coming into reverse warrior, placing your left hand down, reaching your right arm up and overhead. Beautiful stretch through the side of the body. We're coming into our revolve lunge, so you're windmilling both hands down, swiveling on the back toes, placing your left hand onto your block, open up your right arm towards the ceiling, pressing your hips down as you reach to the sky, 
Looking up to the hand or down is fine. Big breath in and out. Both hands down onto the block. Just step your back foot in, come into triangle pose, straighten out your front leg, lengthen as you inhale and exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, fold. Beautiful. One more here. Press into those blocks and lift. Exhale, fold and let's hold this forward fold for a moment. You want to draw that right hip back. Beautiful. Soft bend in your front knee so you can step your right foot back next to your left and come back into your downward facing dog. Three breaths here, big breath in and out. Two more in through the nose and release. That's it, last one here. And step your left foot through between the blocks. Place your back heel down, reach your arms up towards the sky, bending into the front knee, warrior one. Big breath in. As you exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Set, sink into your front knee. Reaching those arms out. Beautiful, coming into your reverse warrior, flipping the palm, placing your right hand down, reaching overhead. Let's windmill over into our revolve high lunge, placing your right hand down onto your block, reaching your left arm up as you twist. Drawing in through the core as you twist a little deeper. Beautiful. Left hand comes down. We step the back foot in, straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Beautiful. Two more inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. Last one, lift and lengthen, looking forward. Exhale, fold, hold that forward fold. Support yourself by pressing into your blocks. Feeling that beautiful stretch along the back of your left leg. Lovely, take a soft bend in your front knee so you can step your foot back, downward facing dog. Now from here, feet are hip distance apart, we lift our heels. We're going to ripple through the spine into a high plank position. And then press those hips up towards the sky, back into your pike position. Tuck the tailbone, ripple forward, high plank. Press the hips, arch through the back, pike. Ripple. Now, if it feels good within your body, let those hips lower down towards the mat, upward dog. And then push the hips to the sky, lift through the core, A-frame through the body. Ripple, sinking the hips down, open up the chest and draw back. Beautiful. Just one more here. That's it. Back up, hips to sky, big breath in, come forward into your plank, lower to knees if you would prefer, otherwise elbows to ribs, you lower for three, two, one, hover, lower knees, push back, child's pose, stretch, knees wide, toes touch, chest and forehead sinks down between the legs, hands stay on the block. Breathing here into the chest and into your shoulders.
Last breath in here. And release. Beautiful. Walk yourself all the way up. Lovely. Now we're into the release section of our class. To get there, we'll do a little bit of core to make our way down onto our back. And then it's all relaxing and melting from there. So sitting with your legs out in front, we're wedging one block between the knees and the inner thighs. You'll tuck the tailbone, float your legs up into tabletop or boat pose, and then balance your block on your shins. Now for a little more support, the hands can come behind the back, fingertips facing forward. We lean back as we reach the legs long, and then we tuck to pull in. Reach and tuck, ribs drop to hips. If you want a little more, reach your arms out in front, lean back, reach, and draw in. This is tough. Reach and in. Two more, reach. That's it, in, reach, tuck in, so good. We only need one block for a while, so place the block that's on your shins down, next to you and then roll onto your back. Good job. Let's move into our bridges. So our feet are flat, parallel, hip distance apart, block is still between the inner thighs, arms by the side, feeling our pelvic tilt. We roll up along the spine, lifting the hips towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in here. And as you exhale, melting down towards the mat. We're doing three more, tucking the tailbone, rolling yourself up, stretching out the quads and the hip flexors, taking a big breath in, and release as you roll down. Beautiful. One more here, tucking the tailbone, rolling yourself up, Biggest breath yet, in and exhale, roll all the way down. So good. Bring yourself up to seated to make a quick adjustment. Coming into a chest opener, which is one of my favorite poses with the blocks. So I'm bringing the blocks into a T shape. I've got one lengthways. And then the second block will be short ways. And you'll need to do a little bit of adjusting depending on the length of your spine and your neck and your body composition. So the knees are bent. I'm going to roll back so that the long block is between my shoulder blades and the short block sits under the back of my skull. My chin is gently tucked in. Now arms are going to open out nice and wide. And you can already feel that beautiful expansion happening. The block is gently pressing into the back, releasing any tight muscles between the shoulder blades. And the chest and the shoulders are relaxing and opening up. The heart is opening and we breathe here. Big deep breath in and out. Finding this time to slow down. Connect in with your body. And allow the blocks to support you as you release. One more breath here, big inhale and exhale, beautiful. Just carefully press yourself up, nice. So we're just using again one block for this next release stretch. So bringing one block down with you, you're coming down to lie on your back, you're lifting your hips, the block will be Short ways, so you've got more space to sit that sacrum on. 
and you're just finding the sweet spot just below your lumbar area where your sacrum is and resting down onto that lovely curved edge of the block. Again, from here, arms can open out wide, palms face up. And this might be just enough. You can take it a little further by hugging your right knee in towards your chest and carefully stepping your left leg out long for a lovely and intense hip flexor stretch. Taking beautiful deep breaths into that left hip flexor. Beautiful, we'll switch sides, step the left foot in first, place the right leg down, and we hug left knee into chest, extend your right leg long. Close down the eyes and enjoy that beautiful stretch that you're feeling through your right hip flexor. One more breath in here and release. Now step your left foot down. If you like, you can extend both legs out long about mat width apart opening your arms out to the side, palms face up. And just really melt into the block, allowing the front of your hips to open and release. Deep breath in, all the way down into the hips and exhale, relax and release. Two more breaths here in and out last breath here in and release flood of the eyes open step both feet in carefully lifting your hips gently and placing your block off to one side just windscreen wipe your knees side to side releasing through your low back Hugging yourself into a ball, continue to rock side to side. And then hug your knees into your chest even tighter, hold behind the backs of your thighs, lift your chin and your neck and rock along the length of your spine to come all the way up. Coming all the way up, beautiful. Let's find our final pose, bringing those blocks back to the top of your mat, just like we did at the start. We're coming into one last child's pose stretch with the knees wide, toes together. This time, resting our elbows onto the blocks for a beautiful deep chest and shoulder opener. So bringing one elbow at a time down, hands come into prayer position or clasp into a fist. Make any adjustments you need to. Sinking your chest down between your legs and really resting your forehead down onto the mat. Bringing the hands to the back of the head and breathing here. Here for three, two, and one. Straightening out your arms as you lift yourself up to seated. Lovely. Coming to a cross-legged position, we'll take three deep breaths to wrap up this session. Big breath in, reach your arms up towards the sky, lengthen. Exhale, wave down. Inhale, lift and reach. And exhale down. 
big breath in, palms touch above the head and draw down into the centre of your chest, giving yourself thanks for moving your body today in a way that feels good for you. So you are all finished. I really hope you enjoyed this flow and stretch using the Bala Balance blocks. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so we can do weekly movement sessions together. Have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.